Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we went through the Forbidden Jungle, which is down here, clearing out all of that, restoring power to the windmill for the mail, and now this time we are going to head over to Sentinel Beach. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange-bellied rain free. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Sure thing, weird canary lady person. So, that is going to be our objective while we are in Sentinel Beach, as well as Samos wanting us to clear the green eco vents that he has usually got green eco coming from, but they're flooded. Anyway, let's make our way over to Sentinel Beach. And where is it? Come on. Come on. Where is it? Maybe it already said it, and I'm blind. Anyway, these boxes are a bit tough for us, thankfully. Let's go. But there must be something that can bust them open. There is a cannon up here. That is firing these weird things at us. So, I... I just need to stand here without moving. And let it blow these up. There we go. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! We will, Daxter, we will. In a bit of time. First of all, though, I want to get this. That wasn't meant to be there at that time. Anyway, though. Although I could go up and just hit, like, chase the pelican where it'll leave the, like, it'll come down here and then fly back or something. You can chase it around and get the power cell, or I need to avoid that enemy. So I ran straight into it. Of course. No, you can actually get it by using a different means of approach. And I think I want to show that off, because it's pretty funny, actually. First of all, though, we need to make our way up here. And we'll explore that area in a Bit. Probably on the way back out from this area. As we head around here, I want some health because I only have one hit left. And yes, I hit the things without getting hit myself. Yay! And there are some orbs underneath that waterfall, but I think I want to get some health back first by clearing these green eco vents. They only appear here like this is the only place in the whole game where you see green actually no there is one other green eco vent in the game than in this place but there's our power cell and i believe all that sabos is gonna say a few words well i see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> okay, Samus, we get it. You're a little bit of a crazy old man. Anyway, let's just grab this scout fly now before I forget it. There we go. And what I'm doing here is hammering up these pegs to be platforms above ground. Jump and then punch. And you don't actually technically need to 
hammer these, you can get up there. Like, I've already gone up on the ledge that this one leads to. But, you know, I can... St Where did you come from? Where did that one come from? Please, I came out of nowhere. But yeah, I'll just jump up here. I believe there's another scout fly up here. Please tell me I'm right. Yes, there we go. So usually if it's a bit of, like, a small bit of platforming like that, it's going to be a scout fly. Otherwise, it'll usually be a power cell. Let's buzz them for kicks. And Daxter just re... Oh my goodness, I thought I fell off. Which I do want to do, because there are some orbs down here. But not after, like, not before I get the scout fly. Anyway, Daxter loves chasing some seagulls. And I also kind of like chasing seagulls too. <laughs> Maybe not that much. But up here there is a power cell. And I believe the seagulls are now over here. So if we chase them one more time. And off they go. They're gonna activate something. Here we go. That's a good lesson for you guys at home. If you like chasing seagulls around, you have been just one tiny step away from causing an avalanche. And probably don't do what I'm about to do with Jack and Daxa and check it out afterwards. Although first of all, I want to make my way over this way. We have another strong box here, but I don't think the cannon will shoot us from where we are. I think we better go up and take over the cannon ourselves. And boom! You don't actually need to jump up on the cannon like that. The loco will jump down after you kill the other one. But if you get up here, you can control it. And power up your shots so you can destroy these two crates. And any others, whoa, perfect! And any others you missed on the beach. But what you can also do is hit the pelican. And just like that, we blew up a pelican. And there will be a power cell waiting for us in its location. Unfortunately, getting back isn't as easy and... Move, 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 move. Oh my goodness. Okay, what you probably just heard there, starting off, was an enemy known as the Lurker Shark. It is the nightmare fuel of this game. But we'll see a lot more of that in a later spot. I don't intend on falling into the water on that side again. I don't want to go straight there. Let's grab this vent. Plus, I don't think I could make that jump. But at least I can make the jump back. Saves me going swimming. And I actually do want to jump over to where the pelican was. As you can see, there is a orb dispenser right there. So let's just grab those. Not many orbs in there, but power cell. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a face cam or any of that, but I'm doing that action. Very helpful to have blue eco when you're diving for power orbs, because it means you don't have to actually hit the power orbs. Precursor orbs. Oh my goodness, will I say correctly at least one time? Anyway, there are some orbs hidden in here, and I think it's just those five. It's incredibly hard to see anything there, but I got them. And just these 
underwater ones, and then I'll go check out that seagull avalanche. Those are two words you would not expect to hear in the same sentence, but okay. Seagulls, don't mess with them, or you're gonna have rocks falling on you. There we go. That should be all of them. And it looks like there's a way up here. Cool. Let's go, Jack. No, let's go up on the platforms. Come on. There we go. It looks like this bridge is gonna fall to pieces. Like, I thought that actually happens in the avalanche cutscene, but I guess not. Also, now we have 21 power cells! I didn't even notice when we got our 20th. That means we do have enough power cells in order to make our way through Fire Canyon to the next area in the game. But, of course, we're not done. We still need to go to Misty Island. That's it! Just a little further. Come on, push the egg off the cliff. Oh good, now push it oh, gently now. Be careful, it doesn't look safe up there. You must be a true animal lover. Good job, now meet me down here by the egg. Oh my, I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. I'm certain we'll be seeing more of that interesting creature later on. But I believe that's every... No, that is not every power cell because this is our last one. There we go. I think that is every power cell and we're just about to grab the last of the precursor orbs finishing off this area. So let's take a look. And three more and yes! Did it! Double check. Yes! Okay, didn't miss orbs like I did last time. Sweet! Anyway, also you can see Geyser Rock out there, which is pretty cool. I like how you can see, like, every area in the game from other areas. Like, it's all one big connected world. No portals taking you to some completely disconnected place. Like, although we took a portal to... Guys, a rock. You can still see it over there. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Okay, Kira. Sure thing. But first of all, I think we should deliver some. No, wrong house. Again! That's the second time I've done that. I think we should give some precursor orbs to someone. And let's take a... Let's talk... Let's just talk to this guy. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, <laughs> Might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Sure thing, old fellow. I wouldn't mind at all. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. 
Tally ho, tassa, bye bye. I, I love the characters in this game so much. Anyway, also, his eyebrows aren't even connected to him. It's hard to see with the camera, but you could see it in the cutscene. They weren't even connected. Anyway, with that, guys, that is Sentinel Beach covered. And next time, we will head over to Misty Island. And I believe Old Man Samos has something to say about that. So let's go have a chat to him. Right up here. Oh, it's the Conquering Heroes. Good. I wanted to talk with you two about something serious. There appears to be quite a bit of lurker activity on Misty Island. I can see them bombarding the Precursor Silo from my lookout tower. If the lurkers open it up and release the Dark Eco, we could all end up running around looking as ridiculous as this annoying little specimen. Jack, it's time for you to prove your worth. Get the fisherman to let you take his boat back to Misty Island. Get to the top of the Precursor Silo and take out that cannon. And what about me? You? Why don't you mop my floors? They seem to have lost their shine lately. Okay, Samus. Okay. Fine. I'll do that. Please. Well, it's a good thing we helped the fishermen out in the Forbidden Jungle. So next time, let's take that fishing boat right down there. Oh, sorry, no. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dang nasty. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time when we explore Misty Island. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye